Hello and welcome to the fourth in my series of how to produce a GPX synchronized video file. Now here we're going to look at two quick methods to correct the elevation data in a GPX file. The first one is to upload to Strava. Now here's the original source GPX and you can see the undulations in the course along here. Now I actually know the elevation gain on this course and it's actually 14 meters and I know that because I've used LiDAR to correct the GPX but here we've got an ascent of 25 meters so that's a little bit too much so there is some noise in the data here. Now as I say the first way is to upload to Strava many of you will do this automatically anyway and if you're a premium member, you have a download GPX button here. If you're not a premium member, search the Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome or Firefox plugins or extension store to find a GPX export plugin. And this, these are available and I have one here. Now, either one will download a track with corrected elevation data. Now, if you want to know more about how Strava corrects the elevation data, check out my Magic Roads playlist, my RGT Magic Roads playlist on YouTube. And that discusses digital eleva elevation maps. It compares Strava with Komoot, Garmin, etc., SRTM, Asta, and so on. And it also compares to LiDAR. And you'll see that of all the online services, Strava is the re one I recommend to use. And we'll see now in a minute. So we're aiming for an ascent of 14 meters, but Strava gets very, very close. It's a nice smooth track here, and um, you can still see the undulations in the course. Now there is another way just as easy as this, and that would be to upload your track to GPS visualizer and choose add DEM elevation data and then you just click convert and this is the result. So we've got an ascent of 18 meters so that's a little improvement but um, it's not quite as accurate as Strava in this case. Now there are other things you can do. You can smooth your GPX, your original GPX file and using a barometric uh, a device with barometric elevation recording that can turn out to be very accurate and also it does rival Strava if you've if you've got good weather conditions and you've calibrated to a known elevation before starting your ride but there are a lot of intricacies to this so if you do want to know more and you want to obsess over this please do check out my RGT Magic Roads um, playlist on YouTube. But otherwise, I would recommend just going straight for Strava. If you're not a premium member, just use the plugin and you can download a GPX with corrected elevation data. So there it is, two quick methods. Either one uh, is good, but I would recommend the Strava method. And uh, if you find this useful, uh, please hit the like button on YouTube and also do please subscribe. Thank you for listening.